Today I'm working with Color Effects Pro 5 plus the TK8 plugin for Photoshop. You don't want to miss this one. Stay tuned. Hello everyone and welcome to the Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. I have something a little bit different today. Today I'm working with Color Effects Pro 5 from the Nick Collection 5. It's the latest update, but I'll be pairing that up with the TK8 plugin for Photoshop. Now, if you watch my TK Friday videos, you know how much I love the TK8 plugin for Photoshop. Today I want to show you my workflow when I'm using Color Effects Pro 5 along with the TK8 plugin for Photoshop. I've had several comments on my YouTube channel asking me if I would show my workflow when using the Nick Collection 5 along with the TK8 plugin for Photoshop. And that's what this tutorial is all about. And I really enjoy using Color Effects Pro 5 along with Silver Effects Pro. But today I wanted to focus on Color Effects Pro 5 and show you that workflow with the TK8 plugin for Photoshop. So let's get started. The first thing I want to do in this image, now this is just a stock image, by the way, and I will provide a download link in the description below this video, just in case you want to follow along with me. If you have the TK8 plugin for Photoshop, as well as the Nick Collection 5. The first thing I want to do to this image is soften up the sky. So I know I'm going to need a sky selection. So let me go ahead and select out the sky first. So I'm going to come to this icon on the TK8 CX or combo panel and click it. And what that does is it allows Photoshop to select the sky. Now I want to save that out as a channel. So if I come right here on that same CX or combo panel and click, I can go ahead and save that as a channel. I'm just going to call this sky and click OK. And when I do that, you'll notice it's going to live down here in my channel, so I'll need that. I'm going to go ahead and deselect this selection for now by clicking right here on the CX or combo panel. And next up, the moment you've all been waiting for, I'm going to fire up the Nick Collection 5. So what we do is, you can either come up here to filter and find Color Effects Pro 5 and launch it from here. That's not my favorite way of doing it. I would much prefer to come over to File and come down to Automate and open up the Nick Selective tool. This is the best way I think to launch the Nick collection because it gives you all the different Nick filters right here and it gives you presets and different things. I've recently made a video about this Nick selective tool. I did a deep dive. I will link that at the end of this video in case you want to go back and watch that one. I think it'll really help you out. All right, then let's launch Color Effects Pro 5 and we're going to find it right here. By the way, see this little triangle here? If you click it, you could uh, click on last edit or any of your favorited uh, presets. And again, I go over this in that video, so you may want to watch it. So at the end of this video, click on it and check that out. Right now, I just want to launch Color Effects Pro 5. So I'm just going to click right here and away we go. And now here we are inside of Color Effects Pro 5. Right now, I'm set on all of my filters. There's 55 filters in here. Imagine that. There's a ton of really good filters. All my favorite filters have these little stars by them. You can just click on these stars, and they become your favorite filters. But then you could um, click here where it says favorites, and it will sort those out for you. So this is a really nice way of keeping your favorite filters organized. Now, the one I want to use is classical soft focus so i can click right here and you'll notice over here on this list color effects filters there's classical soft focus now this is important if you can add multiple filters in this list over here okay to add another filter like say for instance if i wanted to add color stylizer as well if i just click right here it will replace classical soft focus you don't want to do that and if you want to keep classical soft focus what you would need to do would be to click the plus and that would add it to the list, okay? Now, whenever you wanna get rid of a filter, just click the X like right here on the filter and that gets rid of it. I just wanted to point that out because that can be a little confusing. If you wanna see a before and after, you could just click the check right here and see the before and then the after, or you can uh, left click and hold your mouse down on this compare and you can see the before and after as well. You can also do like a split screen here and see the before and after. But I generally like to just click on this compare button, left click, hold it down, see the before and then release it. You'll see the after. Now there's presets for every one of these filters. See the little triangle here. If I click it, you can see all the presets in here. And the one I decided to go with was strong soft focus. So let me click on this. 
And now you can see I have this beautiful soft focus over the entire image, but that's not what I want. I only want it in the sky, but I'll use the TK plugin for Photoshop to take care of that. But if you needed more soft focus, a stronger soft focus, you could take the strength slider and drag it to the right more. You can also adjust the brightness of the entire image here. You can also protect your highlights and shadows. And I think I do want to protect my highlights just a little bit so they don't get too light. And I think that's good. I'm not using control points or anything else. That's all I want. I'm going to go ahead and click apply. That'll apply the effect and it sends us right back into Photoshop. And now for the TK8 plugin. The first thing I do will be very simple. Remember, I saved out this sky channel. All I need to do is come to the, either the CX or the combo panel and find this icon right here and click it. And it lets you know any channels that you may have saved down here. Okay, and I did save a sky channel. So I'm going to click on this and look, it applies that mask right there. So now check out that sky. Here is the before. And here is the after. Very simple and easy to do. What I'm trying to go for today is a stylization of this image. So what I'm thinking I want to do is kind of cool down some of the shadow areas on this image here. And I'll use Color Effects Pro to do that. So with the selective tool, I'll click on Color Effects Pro 5 and we will begin. I'm going to go back up and go to my favorites again. And this time I'm going to use color stylizer. I'm just going to click right here because I'm only going to use that one filter, but let's go ahead and open up the presets. There's a preset in here that I liked, and that is this one right here. Soft, cool tone. Cause remember I said, I wanted to kind of add some blue tone to these shadow areas. So let's click on this and you can see, I got this beautiful blue tone. I don't really like what's happening to the grassy areas, but that's okay. And also, I don't like what's happening to the sky. I don't like that blue tint up in the sky. So for me, that's not good, but I'll take care of that. Again, the TK8 plugin for Photoshop will help me here. Now, if you want different colors here, you have a color picker tool where you can click right here and you have different ways of selecting color, but I'm happy with the color the preset has given me. So I'm just going to go ahead and click apply and that'll send us right back into Photoshop. Now, remember I said shadows. Okay. Now, by the way, here's the before and here's the after. So let's come up here to the luminosity mask icon and click it. And let's find a darks tone because remember I want shadows. Here's darks one, two broad. Here's darks two. I think I'm going to go with darks two. Now the sky's in here. I don't want the sky. So let's click on the mass calculator. I love the mass calculator. I'm going to click minus and then type X and then go to my channels and click on sky and then click on equals and check it out. My sky is removed from the selection. Pretty cool. And now all I need to do is apply this to my color stylizer layer. So if we click this icon right here, we'll apply that mask. Now check it out. Here is the before. And here is the after. So it's mainly just on the shadow areas. And I think that looks really nice. Again, before and after. If I click on this X here, you can see what it'll look like without that mask. Here is the before and here's the after. So big difference. The effect is not in the sky, but only on the shadows of the foreground. Next up, I want to work on the green of this image. I'm not really happy with that color or the way it looks. So let's go ahead and launch Color Effects Pro 5 again. And I want to use another one of my favorite filters. So let me click on favorites. And this time it's the sunlight filter. So I'm going to click right here and let's open up the presets. A lot of times I do like to start with a preset and sometimes I will alter from there. Now looking at these presets, I'm kind of drawn to this dark preset. So let me click on it and see what we get. And yeah, I like it. Now I'm only looking, remember, I'm only looking at the green areas, not the other areas, but remember TK8 will help me to apply it only to those areas. I think what I'll do is work on the strength of that. I think I'm going to pull this slider to the right. I don't know, to maybe somewhere right around 30%. And I might just give it a little bit more saturation. So I'm going to drag this to the right to right around there. I like that saturation. Now we can work with brightness and contrast, but I'm happy with those. Let me click on compare. Here's the before and here's the after. So nice direction, but remember I'm only interested in the green areas. I'm going to click apply. I'll be using a color mask to help me to isolate the green areas. So to do that, 
I want to put a black mask on here, and you'll click on this icon right here in the CX or Combo panel, so I can base my color off the original color and not off the Nick changed color. Very important. This black mask hides this adjustment. So let's click on the color icon and let's find a color in here that represents the green. And I think right around here is a good spot. I'll click OK. And you can see the light areas are the selected green areas. What I'm going to do here is lighten that whole area up by sliding this brightness slider to the right. I'm not going to go the whole way, but maybe somewhere right around in there. We can tweak this a little bit by adjusting here, but I think I have a pretty good selection, so I'm not going to touch that. And I'm not affecting the sky. I had no green in the sky, so I can go ahead and apply this. So if I click this icon right here, we'll apply this layer mask onto that layer. Now check it out. Here is the before and here's the after, but you notice it's only targeting green. And if it's too strong of an effect, we can take this opacity and we can drag it to the left a little bit. But I think I like it. Here is the before and here is the after. Let's see how far we've come. I'm going to click on my before after action that I created for my CX panel. And you can see there's the overall before and here's the after. So I'm really loving the direction that we are going in. Two Nick filters to go. I'm going to open up Color Effects Pro 5 again. I'm going to go back up to Favorites. And favorites are really good. I highly recommend that you favorite your favorite filters because, you know, 55 filters can be overwhelming. But if you categorize all your favorite filters, it'll make it less confusing for you. It's a great tip. The next filter is Tonal Contrast, one of my all-time favorite filters, by the way. This will be the default setting. If I open up the uh, presets, you can see here's all the different presets in here. But I'm just using the default setting. And I'm not going to touch anything over here, so I'm just going to click Apply. That'll send us back into Photoshop. Let's take a look at the before. Here is the before, and here's the after. Now, I don't like it on the entire image. To me, it's too strong. I don't like it in the sky, because remember, I softened that up, and now it doesn't look good. And I have too much of that detail down in here. But this is where TK8 comes in. I'm going to click on this zone mask icon. I only want to apply it to the lighter area. So I'm going to find a very light area like right here and click OK. And let's see how that selects it. Now it does a really good job. I'm going to tighten up that selection a little bit by dragging this slider into the left a little bit, something like that. And then I'll drag the brightness slider to the right just to lighten up those areas even more and maybe drag this in a little bit more. So I think I have a really nice selection right there. Now it's also getting the sky. I don't want that. So I can use a mass calculation. So I'm going to click on the mass calculator, click minus X out of here, go to my channels, click on sky, click on equals. And now the sky is out. There's a little bit of, of area up here in the clouds, but that's not going to hurt anything. Now all I need to do is apply this to that layer. So let me click right here and now it's applied. Now check this out. Here is the before and here is the after. See how much more subtle that is? Again, before and after, but it's just lightening up some of these lighter areas and I really like that a lot. Now I just have one more filter to do. Now all you TK8 users out there, don't forget about this X here. If you want to just eliminate this mask and see what it looks like without the mask. Click on this red X. That's what it looks like over the entire image. Click it again, and that's what it looks like with the mask. And again, here's the overall before and after. I just need to add one more filter. Let me launch Color Effects Pro 5 again. Now, this is something brand new to Color Effects Pro 5. You're not going to find it over here in your list of filters, but you will find it over here. It lives here. It's called Clearview, and it's really excellent. So what I'm going to do is check the image out. I'm going to take this Clearview and start to drag it to the right. And it does really cool stuff to the image. I'm going to go a little stronger than I think I need. But you're saying, Dave, you just used tonal contrast. Now you're bringing all this detail back in again. Yeah, I know, but follow me here. I'm going to use the TK8 plugin for Photoshop to sort it all out. So just relax. It's going to be okay. Let's go ahead and click apply. Okay, here we are. Let's take a look. Here is the before and here's the after. And I know, Dave, you ruined your image, but let me fix it. Let's come up to luminosity mask. Click right on that. 
Let's go to uh, midtones three. Now we have three different midtones. We have midtones one, we have midtones two, and midtones three. They're all dealing with midtones, but they just get lighter as we go up in stages of one, two, and three. And I'm also affecting my sky, which I don't want. So I'm going to click on that mass calculator again and click on minus again. X out of here and go right back up to my channels and click on sky and click equals. And now that sky is out of it. And now all I want to do is apply this to the layer by clicking this icon right here and check it out. Here is the before and here is after. But you see how toned down that is now? but I have that really nice little bit of extra clear view. It's a little bit more clear and I really like it. Now here's my overall before and here is my after. So the Nick Collection 5, today I use Color Effects Pro 5, but we could have used any of the different filters inside of the Nick Collection or on one software filters or Luminar software filters. But when you couple that with the TK8 plugin for Photoshop, you've got something very special in your editing workflow. Well, there it is, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this. Please leave comments and questions. I really want to hear from you. If you don't yet own the TK8 plugin for Photoshop, click on my affiliate link in the description below this video. Use my promo code DK15. You'll save 15% off the TK8 plugin for Photoshop, as well as anything on Tony Kuiper's web store. And that includes training videos and also... If you want to pick up the new Nick Collection 5, I have an affiliate link also listed in the description below this video. Uh, I don't have a promo code, but I believe it's on sale right now. And uh, if you click on my affiliate link, I make a small commission when you do that. It helps me to keep these YouTube tutorials coming your way. Hey, if you enjoyed the tutorial today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. If you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe and click that bell notification icon. That way, every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Cully. I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.